I was thinking about this the other day when I was kind of wondering what's going on in this world. And I thought this would be a good reminder for us. This is how we're to approach these things. Oh, yeah. This is how we fight our battles. 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 It may look, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Oh, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Ooh, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Yeah, this is how we fight our battles. 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 It may look like, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look, it may look like I'm surrounded. And so last week we, we did a Psalm 113 and then we stopped. And so this week we're going to pick up in Psalm 114. And last week I gave you a, uh, a YouTube link in there that you can take a look at. Uh, this YouTube link here again is from the Israeli uh, worship band Makedim. And the, if you go to this link, it is Psalm 114 in a very upbeat and beautiful song. It's a good way to learn Hebrew good way to increase your Hebrew knowledge. It takes a while to pick up how fast they can sing. It's amazing. But here it is. Bet set Yisrael mi Mitzrayim, Bet Yaakov me'am lo ez. When Yisrael came out of Egypt, Jacob's house from a people, foreign speaking. And I just see this interesting thing here, Egypt, a foreign tongue. It's indicated here in the psalm that there's something different about Egypt's speech. Judah became his sanctuary, Israel, his dominion. So we see that Judah is a sanctuary. We see that the promise comes from Messiah through the tribe of Judah. The sea saw and fled. The Jordan turned back. I love these mind pictures that try to picture in your head what does this look like? These songs are so vibrant. They're, they're poetic and they're talking to the mountains. They're... The mountains skip like rams. The hills like lambs. Why was it, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back? O mountains, that you skipped like rams. O hills, like lambs. Milifne Adon Huli Aretz Milifne Eloha Yaakov. Okay, and this verse right here we have last week we talked about circumulutions. Oh, I'll come back to it. I have it spelled in here further again. And so in this verse we have one and it's Adon. And so we talked about that I think last week or the week before and we said this is our Lord. So this is a picture of our God and our King. Tremble at his presence. Milifne Eloha. And here for the, the people who are studying Hebrew, we see the word El for Elohim there, Elohai, but there is a Vav in this word here. This word does not 
normally appear with a vav in it. But here in Psalm 113, uh, Psalm, where am I? <laughs> 14, right? It's 14. It appears with a vav. And so right here, the vav is an indication of the stake or the nail. So right here in the middle of this word for God, we see the vav, which is a picture of Messiah being pierced for us. So we see Messiah here in this verse. Who turned the rock into a pool of water? The flint into a spring of water. And so we here see this reference back to Mitzrayim or walking around in the desert and we have this rock, we have this pool of water. And who is, I mean, who is this rock? And the rock is Yeshua, 